All right. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you some of the Vim keywords which you might be familiar. Those who are not familiar, it is for them. Okay. And I found uh, the those keywords which I'm going to show you or key combination is helpful if you are if you are residing inside Vim. So I thought to share with you. Okay, so let's get along. So without further ado, uh, let me get into my note file. As so on the right hand side, I have jotted down something to show you. On the left hand side pane, I have a uh, buffer open with some rudimentary text, so it will be easier for you to show show the stuff. Okay, so the first thing is that as written on the top of right hand side file, change sentence and put you in insert mode. All you have to do, I'm in a normal mode, right? My cursor is on the sentence. All I have to do, see and write back it. See, it took away all the line and put me in insert mode so I can write whatever the text I wanted to write okay okay the next one is uh, to delete the character before the cursor if my cursor you can see hovering here if I my cursor sitting on E and if I press shift X or capital X see it deleted the character before the cursor okay so all you have to do press shift X or capital X now to delete current and previous line all you have to do in a normal mode D and minus see it deleted the line that line and the top line okay so if I do and it will bring back the line again okay D and hyphen will delete the line and the previous line all right so the next one is to say for instance uh, I have two buffer open right my active buffer is where my cursor is hovering you can see now I want to get rid of the other buffer on the left hand side how do I do that all I have to do, Control W and do. See, it's gone, right? So, so let me open up the buffer again. So all I did, Control W and O to get rid of the other buffer, which is not active. Okay, now. To exchange the buffer position all I have to do control W and X you can see the buffer get change the position control W and X see okay so for instance if I if you wanted to get one of the buffer should be enlarged and occupy the entire screen and hide the other buffer all you have to do control W and pipe or bar to enlarge one particular buffer to capture whole screen and hide the other buffer all you have to do control W and pipe or bar okay to bring back the file which has been hidden all you have to do control W and equal see it bring back the hidden file again okay okay so for instance if we search something it's a very common operation right say for instance if I write Navy and I haven't pressed the enter yet to leave the search prompt okay and what we generally do we generally press enter once the search getting highlighted then get into the buffer pressing enter take you to the buffer 
and then you move around on the search by pressing N and P, right? Instead of that, you can do the moving on the search prompt itself, okay? For that, to go down, you have to press Control G, see the highlighted yellow getting orange when my cursor get focused to go to go to the previous search all you have to do control T see the highlighted yellow getting orange I'm pressing control T to go up control G to go down without leaving the search prompt super handy right all right so now say for instance uh, I have a file name here so let me write file name any file name okay and I want that file name to be pasted on the ex prompt or command prompt okay all I have to do my cursor is on the file name right it can be any file if I go to the command prompt and if I do control R and control F see look at the button the file name get pasted on the command prompt super helpful right likewise if my cursor is on some specific word and I want to bring it on the command line or ex prompt all I have to do, go to the command prompt and do control R control W see look at the bottom the where my cursor was there on specific word which brings down on the ex prompt or command prompt darn simple right and extremely useful say if I for instance For instance, I have a I have a capital word in the file, okay, and I want to bring it down to the ex prompt. All I have to do, go to the ex prompt, do Control R and Control A. Control R and Control A bring down all the capitalized word underneath your cursor to the ex prompt. These are the little thing which which will help your productivity like anything if you're if you're inside film most of the time so my cursor on a particular line right if I want to get back get this line to be pasted on the command prompt or ex prompt all I have to do I need to go to the ex prompt and do control R and control L see the entire line get pasted on the ex prompt super super useful you don't have to type all this stuff by yourself just press the required key and these keys will this key combination will get etched into your memory if you are using it frequently and these are kind of operation if you live inside film which is pretty common to jump into the ex prompt every now and then and operate on something right and this keystrokes will come very very handy to get things done okay so I am now I'm going to show you I'm just you can see I'm just uh, skipping this part this two line this two line I'll show you later how it work okay I'm just keeping it for a different reason right now so I'll go to the next uh, it will say controller and equal put you to a command mode and then need to pass what you want to evaluate and the resulting content uh, get 
get passed to the on the buffer okay so if I do if I if my cursor is here and if I do control R and equal C on the bottom my uh, cursor is here and I can expand any Vim script, script command to and the output get pasted on the buffer. So let's be clear, it's an assignment, register assignment statement. The output of it get pasted on the buffer. Okay, so you can see on the bottom left on the screen my cursor is sitting just beside a equal sign because on a insert mode I press control R and equal equal sign which put me here okay now if I write expand say if I write percent and then the P. this is basically to get the path of the file right I'm just giving you an example if I press enter see the file path it it could be any Vim script expression any Vim script expression if you want to evaluate like this okay you can you can do so let me do it again because you probably might not get it all you have to do in an insert mode to evaluate a Vim script expression and the output get pasted on the buffer all you have to do Control R and equal. It will put you on the in the in the bottom with the equal sign where you can write any. Again, I'm writing expand. Okay, and if I write this, I just want to get the header of the file that has to be pasted on the buffer see this is the header of the file which is getting pasted okay okay now next one is control a in insert mode insert the last content inserted okay so if i go to the insert mode and i do control a see it inserted what we have last inserted okay now if I want to insert the last inserted stuff and quit the I'm still in insert mode right if I wanted to uh, insert the last contain okay and quit the insert mode all I have to do control and add see I have inserted the last inserted content in the file and look at the bottom I'm back in a normal mode all I did I did control and add which insert a last inserted contained in the buffer and quit the insert mode okay and So if you wanted to 
delete the character all uh, control H is signifies backspace so if you do control H in a insert mode if you do control H it simply erase the character okay okay now say my cursor is here okay and if I do control W in insert I'm in insert mode and my cursor is here you can see and if I do control W it simply erase the character underneath the cursor okay control W will erase the character under underneath the say I have a word here say I write hold okay if I do control W it erase the character underneath the word okay now if I place my cursor here and if I do control U say it erase out everything before the cursor okay now if I write if I press control T it will add an indentation you can see my cursor moved right and if I do control D it will delete the indentation if I do control T it will add an indentation if I do control D it will delete the indentation okay now I'm in an insert mode right instead of uh, going back to normal mode and do J and H and K L to move around all I have to do control X and control Y to move up control X control E to move down you can see so let me show you control X and control Y to move up control X and control E to move down control X control E to move down it is probably a not so convenient because it consists of two key sequence instead of uh, getting going back into the normal mode and using the single letter key which which will be much more convenient and very common and people accustomed but these are the alternative which is there or you can use it in an insert mode to get it and see look at the bottom it also show you in I'm in mean, insert mode and I can scroll with the control E see I'm going up and control Y I'm going down control E goes up control Y goes down in an insert mode without you being go to the normal mode and using one letter H K J L command okay which is I think it's a bit convenient okay and say if I write here and if I do control X control L so it will suggest me to to it will open up an FCF window and suggest me what are the line I'm going to if I select any because all the lines are same if I press enter that line get in inserted basically if you do not have FZF integrate it will simply insert the line what has been there previously in the buffer with the help of control X and control L which will insert the line 
you are intend to insert okay okay and next one is Control X and Control F. See, it will again bring up a file path, and it will it will fill up the file path if you if you do that. Okay, so here, if I write something. If I do Control X and Control F, no, it will. Okay, so Control X and Control F will fill up the file path. Control X. All right, then Control X S. Okay, if I write. Control X S Okay. If I go here, Control X and Control V. the commands I probably not able to get it properly so it says control X and control I complete with the keyword in the current and included file okay Control X, Control I, bring up. Okay, it will it will complete the current and included file. Okay. All right. It will it will pop up a uh, enlisting of file. From that you can you can choose, or from Word. Here it will it will pop up with the bunch of words where you can select it. Okay. Mm. If I write and if I do Control X S. Okay, I know why it is not work. So if I do so you can see few of the stuff is not working for me because probably I I doing it wrong, but you get the idea, right? 
I probably in a different mode that's why okay so here are something um, now we all have VIM info file right here is something which is more of a theoretical stuff I mean when you build uh, when you tweak these things generally do not need any kind of tweaking if you are not uh, if you are super inclined then you might tweak all this stuff otherwise there is no point doing it the default one do good things right okay so here here is a few option uh, you can write it on the ex prompt directly uh, set vim info then bang then then some numbers and that is mean the first numeric means uh, that you have to have a at most 100 files of tracking in vim info and 50 lines per per register and 100 KB for each item. These things can be manipulated in Vim, Vim in profile to, to track down the stuff according to your need. And so if, if you these are other command this to enlist you the if I go back and if I do oh well it will show me all the files I have visited from Vim info file okay um, which might be useful to you might not be useful to you So uh, let me show you some. So you can insert some symbol inside Vim. We called it diagraph. All you have to do, control K and write the word. See, I have written I just press Control K and wrote Shift E, Shift E and U. It will print the Euro sign. Likewise, you can you can print the copyright symbol like in insert mode. Control K and you have to write C O. See it me jack up a little bit so you can see right on the left hand side so all you have to do I'm doing it in insert mode control K and capital C O see it inserted the copyright symbol it is called diagraph okay Uh, it is called diagraph uh, with the help of that you can insert fancy symbol inside film okay all you have to do press ctrl k and take the corresponding character or letter there are a few common things are there right or you can easily go to the ex prompt and write dia and press enter it will enlist you all the all the character it has got so you can choose it from there okay uh, likewise you can see 
the all the function just write if you in a in a command or ex prompt like this you can see all the function declared inside of vmrc by the plugins or by yourself is get enlisted here all you have to do go to the ex prompt and type the word a few or function it will enlist you you the all the functions okay okay now again if i repeat the last substitute without its range and its file uh, and flags all i have to do go to the command prompt and type ampersand if i do so, oh there i haven't done any search okay okay so let me do it if i do say okay my cursor is here and if i go to the ex prompt and change it to full okay so it gets changed in particular particular line but it also get highlighted on the other line where that word is there right now again if i wanted to change something here and if i go to the command prompt again and just press ampersand just put ampersand on the ex prompt and press enter see it it got changed it applied the last substitution without if you have given a range it will ignore the flags and range too just applied to the present context it's a shortcut way to repeat the last substitute okay again if i go to the ex prompt and type the ampersand and press enter see it gets changed the last substitution So to change it go globally, just type G and ampersand and this press enter. See, it has got so it will it will say repeat the large substitute with the same flag, but without the same range okay okay because we haven't changed it globally so it didn't take effect if we if we pass the g flag in substitute whatever we have done it could have go ahead and done the same thing without repeating that okay because we didn't give the global flag while substituting so it didn't affect i hope i'm clear right don't make it a riddle so if i want to make a change and if i do a change with the global flag on and later on i want to do the same all I have to do g and m for send to apply the last substitute command without the specified range previously mentioned okay it could be applied to the new places new range of files okay so and to apply the last substitute all you have to do go to the ex prompt and type m percent and press enter okay okay Uh, these are the few theoretical stuff uh, I mean you can easily
So So this is probably it I think I have covered enough so I think uh, if I if I put this up in this file in in some of the some of my repository in GitHub probably uh, I have a repository called collected notes uh, in GitHub if I and I probably going to post this file in that particular repository so you can pull it down and see it yourself if you have little time in your hand and then start experimenting with all this stuff if you are not get enough clear understanding what I have I've been showing in this video you might get this file from that particular repository on github which is named collected notes okay and you can pull this file I'll put this file in that particular uh, git repo so you can go through it at your leisure and try experimenting with all the stuff mentioned I found these things are very uh, important and very efficient way of doing stuff inside film so that's why I'm sharing it with you so go and check out the github repository in under my name the repository name will be collected notes you can easily find it out underneath that you you will find this file so you can get it okay I hope this video will give you some sort of uh, insight I might not be as fluid as you expected so thanks for watching